Okay, the big one for the day, the Grand Stipil Trace de Paris, which is race seven on your cards. It's over three mile, five furlongs. One of those ones you like to win. So, Amoya Super for Alex Cherry, Ashton for James Follis, Barra Killer for Graham Clutterbuck, Fort Lord of Al for Paul Rhodes, It Marbo for Darren Thompson, King George for Stu Gray, Passive Future for Daniel French, Sandorcion for Molly at Surfer, uh, Top Spec for Alex Cherry, Assemble the Forces for Paul Rhodes, Glen Tara for Ghost Sapper, Maximum Impact for Joshua, Princess Something, Peach for David Robertson, and the Mighty Eight for Joshua Sutherland. Not sure what went on with the camera work there. A couple of glitches. We can blame the race runner, which would be me. <laughs> anyway, it's the Grand Steeplechase de Paris, and we're being led by Top Spec. He's going to take us into the first of the 18 fences. And as you can see, a few of them already got caught on that bend here. The ones namely are towards the rear. And the camera work stopped again. My apologies here. I'm hoping this set was down. When they get to the first of 18, everybody's over it. And we're being led by the Alex Cherry horses of Top Spec and Amoya Super. And we've also got another problem here. We're having some stop starts. Not sure what's going on. We've obviously had a couple of fences. My apologies to everybody on this really big race. Everybody's over the third. Seems uh, the camera work seems to have calmed down now, but we're being led by top spec. We've got a couple of links on Amoya Super, and then we've got a further, probably four back to the remainder. We're just being led by Sansuin and Glen Moss Tara, ruled it out out wide. Another grey passive future, sort of mid pack. Maximum impacts in there, mid pack. Wider of all at the moment is Barra Killer. Martin Leadham's. I'm not sure. I don't know. There's Fort Lauderdale out there and Paul Road Silks. My apologies. And right at the rear at the moment is King George. But coming down to the fourth. Oh, everybody gets over it. All bar King George. He hasn't done himself any favours going right through the top of it. Trainer won't be happy with that. But it's top spec. It still leads us. Oh, now we're riding on board Glen Moss Tara. He's going to get to the fifth. He takes it well. Oh, and we lost one there and see if the rider was fault lauded out. Bad luck, Paul. I missed that one. It's riding on board. Serves me right. So it's still top spec that leads us. Of course, a bit of a mismatch this race. Bit of a mad commentary as well. They're into the six of 18. And the one that didn't go very, very well is the rear is King George. Be lucky if he gets round. But we're still being led by top spec. Been there since the beginning. I'm going to go past the grandstand. As we all see them. Hurrah, hurrah! Oh no, they're being saying, oui, oui, magnifique, go ma us. But it's top spec that still leads us. They take us out for another circuit from Sansoin. Sansoin in second. Third is Maximum Impact. Moya Super is about fourth. The inside is it Marbo. Then we've got the Mighty Eight and Passive Future. Glenmos Tara. And King George has made up some ground, got himself in towards the rear of the pack. Ashton assemble the forces. And then Barra Killer and Princess Peach as they get to the seventh. Oh, we lost one there. Ashton's gone. Bad luck to James Follis. And to the eighth. And all over that. So we just had, uh, lost a couple here, which is not bad. We're still two miles to travel, though. It's top spec. Leads by four to Sendo Sioni. We've got Mighty Eight and Glen Mostara into the ninth. They're halfway through the fences now. Still 12 of them on their feet. Just at the rear still is Princess Peach. And still running wide is Barra Killer. And then assemble the forces towards the rear at the moment. But Top Specs lead's been cut back a little bit now by Glen Mostara, the Mighty Eight and Sansuyoni. It Marbo's just behind them with maximum impact towards us here. And the stripy red and black Dennis the Menace Silks. And we've got King George against the fence. Moya Super, Passive Future the Great. And then the three of Barracular assemble the forces and Princess Peach as they take this right turn. Come to the 10th. Leaders over it, but takes it slowly. The ones that jumped it better were Tops, sorry, the Mighty Eight and Glenmas Tara. Yeah, that's all of those maximum impact. 
That's these four that uh, can lead us downhill now with a mile and a quarter left to run. They approach the next. Oh, fairly close order here. Everybody's over the... Oh, Nick Marbo's gone. Bad luck to Darren Thompson. Didn't get into that fence too well. What do you think? Over three miles, three and a half miles. We've uh, got a really good close field here. It's quite an exciting race, but we're being led by maximum impact into the 12th. Takes it well. King George had uh, made up some ground there, but then went through the 12th pretty poorly. So we're going to pass the grandstand for the final circuit. And we're being led by maximum impact. Top specs in second. King George now moved himself up into third. And there's Glenmos Tara. Marikila still out wide. Against the fence is Sandor Sion. The outside of Sandor Sion is Amoya Super. And, uh, assemble the forces. Mighty Eight. Princess Peach. And Passive Future the Grey moves over towards the fence now. But up front we're being led by Maximum Impact now. It's taken a couple of lengths advantage from Top Spec and King George. Then Sandor Sioni. Then Mostar is still there. They get to the 13th. Everybody's over it. A couple of slower jumps. The one that took it slowly was Maximum Impact in the lead. Top Spec got over it well and a way fastest. They get to the 14th. Let's all change up front as Sandor Sioni moves... Uh, cruises ahead here and has uh, taken a three four length advantage going into the 15th there's only three left to jump after this so we're four from home but it's Sandor Sioni has taken a six seven length advantage from top spec Max Min back and Glenn Mostara I'm not sure we're going to see all these so we hit the five furlong ball and Sandor Sioni has just gone off on uh, I'm not sure what's happened here as everybody else stopped running so it's Sandor Sioni he's got a 10 length, 12 length advantage over Maximum Impact Top Spec and Glen Tyra are all being pushed along to try and make up this uh, this advantage that Sandor Sioni's got here as he goes downhill, approaches the, the next, keeps looking round the jockey, wonders how he's got so far in front, he gets over the 16th, as does the remainder, but they've been well pulled apart here by Sandor Sioni. So with two and a half furlongs to go, and with just a couple to jump, it's Sandor Sioni going to take him downhill into the penultimate. He hasn't looked round, gets over it. Glenn Mostara is the one that's going to try and chase him down now, but it's Sandor Sioni by about five to Glenn Mostara. Maximum has a further four or five back. I can't see anything else. It's Sandor Sioni for Molly at Surfer. Just inside the final furlong now in the last. Here he goes. He's just got to go over it. He does. Takes it well. Glenn Mostara jumps it well as well. Maximum impact. But Sandor Sioni's just taken this. He's looking round again, this jockey. I think he thinks he's got loads left. It's going to be a good win here. And it is a great win here for Molly at Surfer. Jockey takes a salute, takes the Grand Steeplechase to Paris for Molly at Surfer. Second was Glenn Mostar, I think Maximum Cat was third. The rest finally got home. So Sandor Sioni wins it for Molly at Surfer. Second was Glenn Mostar for Ghost Zapper. Third was Maximum Impact for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Passive Future for Darren French. And fifth was the Mighty Eight for Joshua Sutherland. They had ten lengths over the third. Amazing.